Yeah, you oh, know, okay. I got somebody right here with me. Uh, that old boy in the bugger loser, uh, Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It's your boy Mud, brother boy. Y'all tune in to LTY TV. I know what the fuck going on. My brother boy, yeah. You got the sauce, nigga. How you gonna slide on me? Uh, How would you do it? No, you ain't gonna do it. I thought you gonna ride for me. Mud brother boy really came from like, uh, um, I don't know, like my gang, your MB, so mud brother at the time. Like, I feel like everybody around me got it at the mud. And really, all my brothers, like, we got that in front of our name. It's just like, it's like the stamp. My mama, like, everybody hustling, like, they was around me. I grew up around a lot of hustling, so I feel like we got it at the mud. Like most people probably think I'm talking about like drink mud, like whatever way you think, but that ain't why. This is why uh, you thinking if you were asking, thinking about why I got that name from. Really, like uh, I ain't been rapping here yet, so uh, like last year, it wasn't nothing that I just I always thought about doing or something. It was just something that happened overnight. Like you know, you just playing and they fuck with it, so. You just gotta keep doing it. Just own up to it. Mud brother boy, like, I'm really just, you know, low key. I've like, been my own line. Ain't nobody coming like me. I ain't gonna say no one inspired me, but it was like, I seen from step one with Money Bag Yo, like, I seen where he bloomed. Like, I just seen always from step one and where he was at. With it, but I ain't gonna say he inspired me, but he played a big part of do's and don'ts with this. Yeah. Hey, that's like my big brother. Uh, but if I need something, I know, he, you know, if I need questions or something about music, I'm gonna go to him. Yeah, uh, I wanna do something with Lil Baby, Lucha, or The Red, like, uh, I can see me working with any one of them. Any one of them three artists. Cause like, we basically talking about the same thing, the struggle, you know. Same story. Yeah, same story. Yeah, I feel like it's a lot of albums right now. Because, of, um, I don't know, like, maybe just got the sound right now. Like, you know how you would be in Atlanta. Really, it's just down south right now. Maybe got the eye, cause, you know, it's a lot of different artists and a lot of different sound. So they tuned in, either if it's dance, you know, anything. Yeah, Memphis, you got the eye right now. Uh, like two to three times a week. No fly, it was really something that I kept saying, like, no fly, like, we, we all, me, my entourage, we all, we do flowers a lot, like, you know, you said, nigga, you tell him, like, you got flower. Like, you said, this is the first thing you see. First impression, you're gonna see flower. So, uh, really, like, we ain't got no flower, no fuck up, none about us, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't shit about us that a nigga can point out. Uh, no flower, that was like the first 14 song that I recorded. It was the first 13 song. So, that's the only thing I got out. Did you ever record a period? Did I ever record? Yeah, I'm signed to a lab. End of the time. It just depends on who you is and like what kind of music you got. So you feel like you gotta have a nine phone? Yeah, you feel like you gotta have something that's catchy or something. Like. Force and break. They don't just put nobody on the bus. So, uh, crazy shit happened in the studio. We chilling, like, we were cool. It's about, it's, it's about 30, 35 niggas at the studio. Uh, we just chilling, you just hear, I'm recording. While, while I'm recording, I just hear a bunch of footsteps, you hear niggas running through the hallway. Nigga look out the door. There's a nigga, he, um, he dragging a female through the hallway. So, <laughs> I ain't gonna say no name, but uh, it's a real person. They club, and they drag, put on the elevator. Shit. 
It would crash she had me in the studio. Uh, I got features coming with a few people. I just stay tuned for the features though. Man, they big. Uh, Todd Money, HSVQ. I like the way we take key too. Got some we we'll take key. Uh, maybe track boy. Um, a hundred K, the narrow love. Like, just don't let shit distract you. Like, just keep working. Anything you do, just keep doing it. Like, as far as going to the studio consistent, then I ain't never too much music. So just don't never stop working. Yeah, I can hoop, shit, I still got it. Play football, you know. A ball nigga on 2K for all kind of cash and shit. Cool people in the room, though, you know. I keep that head on, man, and shit, and shit, yeah. Uh, probably music now, two years from now. Well, two years back, you could have asked me that I would have said basketball. Right now, it's music. Shit, we probably think they sound country. So, shit, fuck the mother city. Yeah, it really do. It really do, cause in Memphis, like, uh, there's a lot of hatred, and niggas, uh, it ain't too many spots to record it, so it's easy to catch your enemy or whatever you wanna do. Like, it ain't just too much you can do. You can't get rid of it if you make a music. Everybody coming together. Shit, you really shoot it out of squash. That's just what it is. Some people don't even do drugs, they talk about drugs. And uh, it's just the influence, like, it could be a good thing or a bad thing. They talking about drugs, they can talk about stop smoking or you know, whatever. Stop doing drugs, start doing like. So, it can be good and bad, it just depends on what kind of song, what kind of message they trying to send out. Uh, Instagram, Mud Butter Bro. Uh, Twitter, Mud Butter Bro. Facebook mud brother boy. Now y'all got the raw and the cut. It did, I know what the fuck going on. I ain't no answer to the train mud brother boy chicken out.